Hey, how's it going geeks? Welcome back to the channel. Due to popular demand, I went ahead and bought a GTX 1070 Ti. Now there's been some very, very bold claims being tossed around saying that this guy right here is the most efficient card to mine Equihash with. Um, there's rumors out there saying that the card can push northwards of 4.7 solutions per watt. Now that completely blows any other Pascal card out of the water. Um, as you guys probably already know if you've been watching the channel, I did a video not too long ago testing almost all of the Pascal cards starting from the GTX 1060 all the way up to the GTX 1080 Ti. Skipping this guy here of course since it just came out about a week ago. Now in that video we found out that the most efficient card prior to this one was the GTX 1080. That particular card, um, I think you could get northwards of 3.85 or so, maybe a little higher if you really uh, mess around with the settings. And uh, this card comes along, basically a bent version of a GTX 1080. And uh, people are stating this card can get 4.7. Now those are some very, very, very bold claims. Um, it would not surprise me if this guy right here is close to the top. But I'm not quite sure if it's quite that high up. It just seems like a huge margin between the past Cal cards. Uh, seeing how this card is basically just a GTX 1080. But hey, who knows? They might have done some real magic to it uh, making it way more efficient but we'll find out in a bit but yeah the card itself uh, very similar to a GTX 1080 it's got a few less CUDA cores it uses GDDR5 opposed to GDDR5X but other than that it's fairly similar to a GTX 1080 it's definitely closer to a 1080 than it is to a 1070 um, which is why I wouldn't be surprised if this card is close to the top when it comes to efficiency seeing how the 1080 was, I say was because I haven't tested it yet, uh, the most efficient card before this guy came along. Now, uh, seeing how the card's fairly new, there's not a whole lot of information out there. I've seen a few videos, I'm pretty familiar with the card, I know roughly how much it hashes. But I've yet to see a video with somebody using one of these guys right here. Good old watt meter. As you guys already know, I like doing all my testing with hardware based readings. Watt meter right here. Um, I generally try to shy away from doing software readings because those tend to be off. Sometimes by quite a bit. But yeah, uh, here we go guys. Let's test it out. Throw it in the miner. See what kind of numbers we get, so stay tuned. Alright guys, I know this is a little redundant, but just for proof and the sake of consistency, I guess, I have just the Intel HD graphics. There's no graphics card installed. And the system is pulling around 38.5-ish. Just like my prior videos. That way we know how much the graphics card itself is going to draw. Alright guys, and here we have it. We have our 1070 Ti. To start it off, we're going to run it stock. We're not going to modify anything other than the fan speed just to keep the temperature under 70. And here are the results. 469, 472, so around 470 stock without modifying anything. Let's see how many watts we're drawing. Oh, jeez. 224, 225 ish. Ooh, a little spike there. Up next, we're going to try to crank the power limit down a bit. Um, 
give it a small core clock overclock and memory clock overclock at the same time and uh, see how efficient this guy runs see if we can get anywhere near 4.7 solutions per watt I'll be honest I'll be really impressed if this card breaks 4 solutions per watt so uh, let's get to it see what we can get all right guys, here are the results for the car to be an undervolted. And I will say I am absolutely freaking impressed. Really, really, really impressed. So we are hashing around mid 430s, a few spikes and a few dips here and there. Around 430, 435ish or so on average. But check out the wattage this thing's drawing. Wow, that is absolutely impressive. It's drawing under 100 watts. Now, keep in mind the way power supplies work is they have a given efficiency curve. The closer you are towards the bottom end, say like anywhere from 5 to 20% load, the efficiency is going to be in an uphill. The closer you get to the middle, around 50%, you're going to hit peak efficiency. And then the closer you get to the end, it's going to drop off a bit also. So theoretically, if you were to add a few more cards um, and get close to that middle point, that 50%, that uh, 30 to 70% range, you could shave off uh, even more wattage. So that's absolutely impressive. 440, holy cow. So yeah, I guess the rumors were true. Uh, I'll put a little thing aside like I always do. Giving you guys the calculations and whatnot. But yeah, highly, highly recommend the GTX 1070 Ti for mining. Now, before I end the video, I will also overclock the car. Just push it to its absolute limit. You know, just for the heck of it, just for, just for fun, I guess. Give you guys all the results, so let's do that real quick before I end the video. Alright guys, and here are the results for overclocking the card. Like, pushing the power limit as high as it could go. Um, this particular card, I did try to crank it up to 250, 300, but I was getting a lot of rejected shares and the system wasn't... Uh, very stable, so I had to bring it back down a bit. But that's about as high as you can push the card. 539 or so. Mid 530s. Uh, obviously, I would not recommend this. It's drawing 250 watts. Holy cow. Yeah, I would definitely not recommend doing this. It's, it's a waste of electricity for the small hash gain. But uh, yeah... Highly recommend the card. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace.